16, we got a big one here. So, a survey of 120 adults uh, found that the volume X liters of, uh, sorry, per person of carbonated drinks they consumed in a week had the following results. So, Sigma X is 165.6, Sigma X squared is 261.8. A part 1 wants us to calculate the mean of X. So, the mean is Sigma X over N, which is 165.6. Over 120, which gives us 1.38. Part 2 wants us to calculate the standard deviation. So we're given this. There it is. So it's the square root of sigma x squared over n minus x bar squared. So Uh, sigma is the square root of sigma x squared, so 261.8 over n, so over 120, minus 1.38 squared. Now that gives us uh, 0.527. Cool. B part 1 says so assuming that uh, x can be modelled by a normal distribution, find the probability x is greater than 0.5, but less than 1.5. So, our distribution is x as a normal distribution with a mean 1.38 and a variance of 0.527 squared. Then we can use our calculators to do this so you want distribution normal C D for the lower bound use 0.5 upper 1.5 um, sigma 0.527 and mu 1.38 and I get to four decimal places 0.5426 Cool. B part 2 wants the probability that x is equal to 1. So remember, normal distributions are continuous. So the probability is the area that you get between two values along the x-axis. So the probability of any one particular value is always equal to 0. Cool. Okay, part C wants us to determine for the reason whether a normal distribution is suitable for this data. So, the mean 1.38 is incredibly close to zero. Now remember that 99% of the data uh, must be between uh, the mean so x bar plus or minus three standard deviations. Now we're here if we try to do uh, 1.38 minus three times 
527 we get a negative number I get minus 0 0.201 so that is less than 0 which doesn't make sense in context of the question because we're talking about the amount of carbonated drinks that people consume so a negative amount is ridiculous so this makes a normal distribution unsuitable Okay, then part D. It is known that uh, the volume of wine eaters per person of energy drinks consumed in a week may be modelled by a normal distribution with standard deviation of uh, 0.21. Given that the probability that Y is greater than 0.75 is equal to 0 0.1 we want to find the value of mu uh, correct to three significant figures okay so we know y has a normal distribution then of mu uh, sorry and variance 0 0.21 squared now, if we were to sketch that, then our mean mu is in the middle, and we know the probability that y is greater than 0 0.75 is 0 0.1. So, if we got 0 0.75 there, we know the area in there is 0 0.1 and the area in there is 0 0.9. Now what we want to do is standardise this distribution. So find our z value for which we are pretty much given the formula. So we're given sampling distributions this isn't sampling so all that we do is ignore that over root n part on the bottom so z is um, x bar minus mu over sigma so for us Z is 0 0.75 minus mu over 0 0.21. Now, if we think about the distribution then, when we've standardised it, uh, we're going to have a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. Now what we want to find is the z value there they would give us an area in here of 0 0.1 and an area there of 0 0.9. So on your class phase, which hopefully you have, um, we can use the inverse normal function. So I go on menu, 7 for distribution, and then 3 for inverse normal. Now the area that we put in is the area to the left of the z value that we want. So 0 0.9, and we've standardised. So our mean mu is 0, and sigma is 1. Now what you will get is that z is equal to 
So what we can do now, so that's what we know this value here is 1.2816. So what we can do now is uh, use this guy, set it equal to 1.2816. And we can now solve that for mu. So, if we multiply through by 0 0.21, we get 0 0.75 minus mu is 0 0.21 times 1.28. One six. Therefore, if we add mu and take the right hand side away, we get mu is zero point seven five minus uh, zero point two one times one point two eight one six, which to three six fix gives us 0 0.481. Go!